doing? We're here today in downtown Calgary, Alberta at the Pin Bar to take on their massive, I mean massive, probably about six pound sandwich challenge. So I'm here today with my good friend, Mr. Joel Hansen to take this on. We've got a massive bun here. It looks like a baguette bun. Uh, two pounds of pastrami. They've got coleslaw, some looks like a spicy mayo sauce uh, with a whole whack of fries on the side. And we've got 30 minutes, 30 short minutes to defeat it. So wish us luck. Joel, what do you think of the challenge? Uh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be yeah. for a second challenge. Just, well, just gotta get to it. Yeah, so nothing else to do but eat this massive thing so thanks for joining us guys and wish us good luck anyway it looks good so uh let's just get started say the count of what five it's gonna get messy too sorry guys it's all yeah. saucy say the count of what five four three two one let's see hey guys welcome to another fun filled video i'm here today with my good buddy mr joel hansen today we're in a cool little place called Pin Bar, which is in downtown Calgary, Alberta, to take on their massive six pound pastrami sandwich challenge. Very rich. So we had 30 minutes to complete the challenge. And if we did, we would get the meal for free and be only the second and third people to complete the challenge in its history. The challenge consisted of a few pounds of that juicy pastrami that you see there, covered with melted cheese, topped with a load of coleslaw, and smothered with some spicy mayo and mustard, all on that massive French baguette bun that you see. Oh yeah, I can't forget those huge serving of crinkle cut French fries on the side. Pastrami is really nicely cooked. It's nice and soft. Probably some of the softest pastrami I've ever had. So definitely soft, moist, juicy. Minute and a half in. So as Joel had previously mentioned, this was our second challenge of the day. We had previously been down the street at a place called Pig and Dukes to take on their man versus pig mayhem burger challenge which was featured on one of my other videos so make sure that you check it out after this challenge that challenge alone was at least five pounds and we knew that this one was going to be large as well however when it came out we weren't prepared for the absolute monstrosity that it was you can see that it had to be in the neighborhood of around six pounds now put that on top of the other five pound challenge and we're looking at a total of about 11 pounds. I don't think that either of us had mentally prepared for it. But as true competitive eaters, we were just going to give it our best shots. And as you can see, we're going for it. We both have different techniques. I'm going with the fork method, while Joel is packing it in with his hand. Either way, we weren't worried about being pretty on this one. Two and a half minutes, Sammy and Scott are both on the meat. Yeah. Half of my fries. I'm very thankful that the meat was tender and juicy because it went down pretty easy. So that bread is going to be a hell of a ride. It's a big, like, French loaf, something, something. So let's just get it done. That's what I'm ready for. Although this challenge was massive, we got lucky in the fact that the pastrami was cooked beautifully. Some challenge that you do, they tend to cook the food for what I like to say is kind of like a challenge quality cooking. Whereas on the good challenges like this one, food is cooked to the same standard as the rest of their food, which is very much appreciated. So a shout out goes to the staff on this one. Thank you guys. I think it's almost time to shave the beard. I'm getting a little too much on there. What do you think? You gonna do it tonight? Shave? Sure. <laughs> well, it sounded like a good idea at the time, but we didn't end up shaving that night. Instead, we played a couple of games of pinball and checked out downtown Calgary. I had not been to Calgary since I was about 12 years old, 
and I couldn't believe how happening it actually was. There was tons of people on the strip, and as you can hear, all the cars and motorbikes driving by. I was very impressed with this city, and I looked forward to going back soon. The fries are nice to cook too, nice and soft, so they're uh, perfect cook. Make sure you do. That's right. No cut lips today. Not only was the pastrami perfectly cooked, but like I mentioned there, the fries were gently cooked to the soft and moist texture that makes them easier to eat, which made this challenge so much more enjoyable. On numerous occasions in the past, we've had challenges where the fries were overcooked and almost razor sharp, which has caused a little bit of bloodshed, but thankfully, not on this one. Thank you, that's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Not only were the cooking staff on point, but also the serving staff. You good? Yeah. You good. You want some? I was just offering Joel some pop there, which I had on the side, as these tables were a little too small to fit everything on. So we're five minutes and 33 seconds in. I just got my half the fries left and about three quarters of the bun. Joel's got half his bun left, so he's gonna beat the new record. I think they said it was only beaten once before. Is there a record? What's the record? I don't think they had a record, so. Yeah, it's only been once before, so we'll find out the record. Well, it looks like Joel is well on his way to setting another record with myself closely behind. So with that guys, I'll let you watch the rest of the video to see how we do. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're enjoying the video and if you could please give me a like and write a short comment in the comment section below, this would really help me out. And I'd love to hear what you guys think about the video. So make sure that you're also subscribed as about 80% of the viewers are not subscribed yet. Hit that little bell icon too to be one of the first fantastic people to get more great content like this. Now let's see how we do. I'd also like to thank a couple of the viewers who came out to watch us. Without your support, this thing would not be possible. You guys rock. It's like eight minutes, ten seconds in. Both getting it done. Both down the bread. Woo! Getting down. Have to get serious for this one. So at this point, I'm almost nine to 10 pounds in for the day. And by my facial expressions, you will really be able to tell. Thankfully, we had some support from some passers-by, which included a vehicle full of police officers just enjoying the show. There's a 
police van. <laughs> Just a police van with four policemen looking over here, enjoying a little bit of entertainment. Yeah, we're waving at us. Waving at us. Wondering what the heck's going on. Like I mentioned before, Calgary was a great place to visit and we really enjoyed the whole atmosphere and I'm sure that we'll be back there soon. couple of last words of encouragement there for Joel, right before he's about to set the new record. Remember now, somewhere about uh, 10 minutes, 18 seconds. Scott's really right behind me, doing great. So yeah, overall, the pastrami's really tasty. A pretty tasty challenge, glad we got to get it done, especially for the segment of the day. But I'm about to just finish up here momentarily, and. Uh, I'm gonna assume maybe that's a new record. We'll go with that. Oh, and I hear we get dessert. This was actually one time that I wasn't looking forward to dessert. We were nearly at our max capacity as we had both recently taken some time off from doing food challenges before this tour. But, you know, there's always room for dessert. Apparently I had some stuff on my face. Maybe it's a little better now. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate the heads up, brother. Always looking out for each other. What a great team. And in return, I get a little bit of napkins. Thank you, Joel. So what do you have for dessert? So with Joel done and dessert on its way, I should probably hurry up a little. I'm almost done, but enjoying the experience, taking in all the sights, sounds, smells, and tastes. Thanks again for joining me on this one, guys. I really appreciate all of your support. Let's see if I can finish this one off and get another victory. Don't forget to check out my Pig and Duke video as well, and I'll see you on the next one. So interestingly enough, if you combine both our times together, we beat the old record by about three minutes, which is kind of cool. Scotch is down to his last bites here. A few last words of encouragement from Joel as I push through the last couple of bites. And... Nice! 13.53 for Scott. Dude, crush it! Woo! Woo! Hey, how you feeling? 
full? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's kind of what happens to two challenges, but I will say I got really serious with the gang there. I'm glad that we were able to get it done. Uh, both crushed it. Got the record. It was a big one. So uh, yeah, huge thanks over here. Pin bar, yes. really cool spot. Maybe we'll play some pinball after, if I can even walk. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we got some dessert coming here, hopefully pretty soon, and then we'll uh, bounce on out of here. Yeah, Scott. Oh, good, Josh. I really like the pastrami. It was really nice and soft. It was flavorful. Uh, the, the, even the fries were uh, they cooked well. Yeah, they were cooked really nicely, so they went down easily. Uh, just yeah, just a bit full. That's about it. That's you know? about it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us. Of course, Joel beat the record here. No record was 27 minutes. Uh, he's got the new record at just over 10 minutes. I beat the old record. It was I got about 13 and a half minutes somewhere killed in there. It, dude. Did well. So we all killed it. Woo! Boom. Big thanks to the staff here at Pin Bar downtown Calgary, Alberta. They were terrific to us. Uh, I think we're gonna have a little bit of dessert here and maybe play some pinball. So make sure you guys stay tuned and watch the rest of our video. Mr. Joel Hansen wasn't full enough, folks. So he decided to order some pizza pockets here and put some yummy deliciousness inside of them. So they're not pizza pockets. They're like they're uh, they're like a fried dough thing. Yeah, thanks brother. Awesome. So one's fairly peach, the other is banana chocolate. So I'm gonna try a bite. This one is definitely banana chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, banana chocolate. That's crazy. Not focusing. So on his face. I know, right? My face, right there. So uh, <laughs> let's try. Would you get peach? Yeah. Peach? Peach there. Oh, it's hot. Tastes like chocolate banana. Yeah. That's peach. Pretty good? Yeah, doughy. Doughy, yeah. Try it. Not bad. It's a little warm thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's pastry. Yeah. Well, soft, moist. Thanks for joining, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for joining.